morning guys hope you're all well this wednesday morning it's not a bad day out today compared to yesterday now today's message is about having a big reality check because uh, a couple of days ago uh, one of my clients uh, unfortunately lost someone um, who was a former student of his um, and this guy was only young um, I'm not here to piggyback off of this or anything like that. I just want to talk about what happened. So he, unfortunately, the guy was in his 30s and he had a heart attack. I think it was a heart attack. And unfortunately, he's no longer with us anymore. And it's something that that is shocking. Um, but as I've said before, for, for 50% of people out there, the first sign of vascular disease is sudden death. And this is why I always talk about health rather than fit fitness the, this guy was actually a fitness professional himself and he was struck he was taken down so this is why i always like to just say to people are you taking care of yourself because these things you're probably going to get a few different symptoms are you sleeping well how's your skin how's your how's your stress levels are you taking care of yourself properly um this is why i always preach internal health because you can look good and not be healthy, but if you're healthy, you're generally 99% of the time going to look good. And that's why I always go on about not going on things like fad diets um, and certain and certain programs out there that are just hugely toxic to the body. Um, although you might lose weight and they might restrict calories, they're also putting in a lot of different toxins. So I never want to go out there and just... Um, there's two ways of building building your reputation up and building your business business up, right? You can either you can either build your building higher than everyone else's, or you can just rip everyone else's buildings down so yours looks looks high. And it's one of those things I don't jump on and just start caning things like Juice Plus and Herbalife and or other different things because it this comes across as bitter. Where I'd rather build up and talk about things like just natural health and living it holistically. Um, because at the end of the day, looking good, yeah, everyone wants to look good. But if you're doing it at the expense of your health, uh, it's not, it's 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 got no long-term value. And yes, you might look good for a short while, but generally, these people rebound. But what I'm really all about is getting people to to look good from being internally healthy, and making that a long-term change and having it a lifestyle. Um, because ultimately if your lifestyle is, is off and things things build up you get toxic toxicity builds up stress levels build up and then you get all these things like autoimmune diseases it goes it goes on and on and on so i just out there just saying to you guys are you are you living life in a way that's conducive to you being fully healthy um are you taking your 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 is work stressing you out? Are you taking the precautions um, necessary to have time with your family? Um, are you letting things get on top? Are you eating healthily enough? Are you having enough water? Are you having enough exercise? Um, and this is the other thing I see people out there doing. Like, because they've gained weight, etc., they go to the gym and they just get blasted through fitness. And this is these people are hugely toxic. It's putting their heart under a lot of stress. And for me, it's just hugely ignorant. Um, you need to get someone in the in the right physical shape first, a lot of time through diet, before you start bashing them with different um, protocols in the gym. Now, I'm not saying that exercise isn't good for everyone, because it is, but it's different levels that you need to go to, and you can start slow and build up. So are you taking all these things on board? Um, what stuff are you putting on your skin? Is it hugely toxic? Are you looking at the ingredients? Are the food you re are they real foods? Are you taking time to prepare your food? Are you taking time to eat your food? Um, these are all things that you can do that are going to really reduce your your stress levels, reduce your toxic load, building your internal health. I mean, it goes it goes deep, and it's why um, I've taken, built my program for 16 weeks so I can get people to understand and start to live in a life that is conducive to this. Because with, without without this kind of throw throw things at people without them truly understanding how it's actually going to benefit them. So, just take that on board, guys. This is this is this guy was a thirty year old in his thirties with a young family, and he was a fitness professional, and he's just been struck down. 
um, and he's and you just got a feel for his family and think what they're going through right now. So, just take a little little bit of time today and think. Do you really need to be that stressed about things? Um, are you, uh, how are you treating yourself? How are you treating your family? Um, because you never know how long you're going to be here. Um, it can happen to anyone, and obviously you're going to reduce those those risks by doing things right, by giving yourself time to yourself, to have introspection, to taking time out to do things you enjoy, um, by working in an environment. Are you, are you working in a job that you really love? Or every morning are you getting up and you hate your job? Now, this, these, this is where like things like cancers and other, other usually like, huge illnesses come from because you can be eating the best foods in the world. Um, you could be earning the, 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 the highest amounts of money um, that you can earn, but if you're getting up every day and you hate your job, that is a hugely acidic place to come from. And it doesn't matter how well you're eating, this is how diseases develop, because you're just in a constant state of stress, depression, your nervous system is out of whack, you're in your, your, parasymp- no, you're in your parasympathetic nervous system all the time. Um, so guys, just take a little look and just think, how, how, are, you, how are you living at the moment? Um, is it conducive to getting the best out of you? Is it the healthiest you can be? Is it, are you being the healthiest you can be? Look, I'm not sitting here go go and be a guru and go and live on top of the mountain and start meditating for 24 hours a day. But are you making choices that are detrimental to your health? Could you be making healthier choices? Because uh, at the end of the day, a healthier you is going to be. Uh, it's going to perform and it's going to feel and it's going to be a lot more present in the world than an unhealthy unhealthy you okay guys and um, as always if you'd like to have a chat about this or if any of these messages has, has hit a call of you then always just drop me an inbox you can head on over to www.reviveyourself.co and have a look at any articles i've got there and have a read about how you can improve your health all right guys so hope this message is oh, i didn't want to be too morbid or anything like that but i hope it's just opened your eyes a little bit and maybe taken a little to make you have a little uh, re re if I can speak a reevaluation of yourself and maybe your circumstances at the moment. Okay, guys, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll speak to you soon.